Welcome to Intello videos. It is now possible to automatically export any data table of a procedure by using the new export command. The export file can be in ASCII CSV, Excel for all tables, and additionally, Relaxis and SetView format for EIS data. The export command can automatically create unique folders and files and incorporate main parameters and metadata from the procedure in data files and folder names. The export command must be placed beside the data table to export the data automatically. No additional linking is required. The data file and folder names can be customized with metadata from the procedure. For example, date, time, name of the procedure, etc., etc., and the main parameter values, like sample ID. The exported signals, their order, and names can be customized. First, you define the export folder, then create a unique data file name with, for example, metadata, like date and procedure name. And it will create a folder with unique format, so you never have to manually update the data folder. All is done automatically by Intello. There are different ways of saving new data files when the file name already exists. You can make the file unique and Intello will automatically add a unique number to the file name. You can select Overwrite and Intello will automatically overwrite the existing data file and stores the last measured data. You can select also Append and Intello will add the new measured data to the already existing data file. Choose yourself the file format that can be Excel, CSV, uh, Relaxis, ZView, the column delimiter and the decimal separator. In the options, define the column headers. By default, Intello writes the data to the file during measurement. When you disable incrementally write intermediate results, the data will be saved at the end of the procedure. Welcome to the Intello software. First, we have to open a procedure. For example, battery EIS at open circuit potential. If we look at the sequence, we'll find the EIS frequency scan. And under this EIS frequency scan, you will find the data table. If you want to export automatically the data, you have to add this data handling tool, export, and you add it next to the data table. It's automatically linked, so all the data which is available will be automatically transported to the export data command. And now we have to add, for example, a, a sample ID to the main parameters, because I want to use the sample ID as a folder name. So I'm going to main parameters, I want to add a value, press the plus sign, and here we can put in sample ID. And for example, I take battery one. Yeah. When this is established, I can use these values in my export folder. So I select export. I'm going to browse to a certain location, for example, C data, select folder, and I'm going to add, for example, some extra information. And in this case, I'm going to add the main parameter information. And the main parameter information, I'm interested in sample ID. Yeah. I also want to change the file name of the data file. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to empty this file. Uh, first, I'm going to add the metadata. For example, start time. Then a space main parameter sample idea and then 
test it at, for example, a date. Metadata, comment start date. So this file name has the timestamp, the sample ID, and at which date it was measured. We can say, okay, make this file unique. And each time you start the same procedure, uh, Intello will add a number behind this file name to create a, a unique file number. You can also have it overwrite, then it will always save at the same file name. And we can also use append, then we'll, the data will be added to the already existing file. You can select an ASCII, CSV, Excel, Relaxis, that's from RHD, and ZView. I'll take ZView at the moment. And yeah, that's it. So I've created an automatic export, and the columns are automatically generated for ZView. Okay, let's start. OSP measurement for three seconds. That's done in here. We have two seconds of stabilization time, and then the impedance data will start from one kilohertz to one hertz, just a short time scan. And see where this data is stored. So it's almost finished. Let's go to my, and you'll see a battery one folder is created. And when I open it, you see that the file name is battery one tested at 26th of July, 2023. At this time, 1448. When I double click on the data, it's all in generated in ZView data file. Yeah. Good. I want to show you also another option. We go back to my same procedure. And if we have a different battery, let's say battery two, then I want to create, uh, instead of a ZView file, I want to create an Excel file. And there you can say include column headers or not. But the nice thing about this Excel file is that you can create your columns yourself. So if you're interested only in the real component and the imaginary component of the impedance, then you deselect, so you keep the real and the imaginary component. You say, I'm only, only interested in these values. You deselect all the other values from the column list. Yeah. And then we can start again the same procedure. Well, normally you change the battery type, but now for this purpose, I'm showing you just the same battery. Three seconds of OSP measurement, uh, impedance measurement from one kilohertz to one hertz, and you can already go to the Excel part because in the battery two here, you will find that the Excel sheet is already created and now it's finished. So you see the file name, battery two tested at 27, 26 of, of July. And when I open this, Excel is opened and here you will find the real impedance against the imaginary impedance. Thank you for watching Intello videos. If you found this Intello video helpful, please like and share with your colleagues. You can subscribe to the Metrum Autolab YouTube channel so you're notified when new videos are available.